Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about how to create or run tasks using ECS service. So let's get started. So basically, the prerequisites for this particular lecture are clusters as well as task definitions. You must know how to create a cluster and at the same time, what is it, right? So if you don't have any idea about what these concepts are then you can go and watch my previous videos where i have already explained everything in detail so let's move with this thing considering that you know clusters as well as task definition and you can see that i have already created one such ecs cluster right here as well as a task definition okay so Please to refer my previous videos for your better understanding. Now, for running the tasks, we also have got this particular option that is tasks, within which we can directly click on run new task and run the tasks. But the problem with this approach is that if one of the task fails or stops working, then in that case, it doesn't have any mechanism with which it can create another such task to make things available for the user, right? So in order to have that mechanism, we create services. Now these services help us manage or maintain a specified number of instances of a task definition in an ECS cluster. So basically, Task definition is nothing but a blueprint which describes one or more containers through attributes, right? It's just like a concept of class and object, like wherein the task definition acts like a class, whereas task act as an object. So to managing or maintaining those objects, we make use of services. So let's go to this particular option of create wherein we'll be creating a service now in this case we'll be configuring the service and the launch type that we have already used is of type ec2 so i'll be selecting this the few things like task definition as well as cluster since they are already created by me they got automatically entered right here okay so for let's go for the service name I'll be entering it to be httpd service, right? In case of service type, we have got two options right here. The first one being replica and the second one is daemon. So basically with replica, it is mostly related to managing the desired count of that particular task. Okay. It's only count oriented. Whereas in case of daemon, each of the task runs on each of the container instances. This is mostly used to get the metrics of all the nodes or EC2 instances running in our ECS cluster. So basically for time being, I'll be going with replica. Okay. Then after that, I'll be entering the number of tasks right here, which is one for the health percent. I'll be Minimum health person, I'll be keeping it to be zero as of now and the rest of the things as it is. For the deployments, I'll be selecting rolling update only. We also have the option of blue green deployment. It totally depends on your requirement what to do. Since this is just a demo, I will just try to uh, keep it as rolling update only. Then we have got task placement. I'll be keeping this as it is that you can add the tags if you want. Right now I'll go to the next step. Now in this case, we have got an option for load balancer type wherein we can select any of those load balancers that we want our service to work with. Right. But since I will be covering this in the later part of this uh, playlist but for now i'll be keeping it as none only okay 
so the rest of the things as it is go to next step so you can also select auto scaling for your service to maintain the desired count for now i'll just keep it as it is and next step this will be my review page wherein i have got cluster that is ecs then the launch type is ec2 and ec2 then we have got this particular task definition then service name and everything just review it and create service now you can see that the service is created i'll view the service okay so now we can see that our task is running now we'll go to this particular task and go to this particular ec2 instance wherein our task is running yeah so first of all we'll try to connect to this ec2 instance with the help of putty okay i'll copy the public ip first then i'll go to this particular ec2 instance then for connecting it i'll be adding the credentials right here that is its private key and open Now we can see that we have entered in this particular um, EC2 instance. Now we'll check the running containers on our instance. Now you can see that we have got two containers running. One is of HTTPD latest as well as the ECS agent. So both of these are running in this particular instance right so you can see that uh, this particular container is mapped to this particular port right that is uh, 49158 is pointing to the container port of 80 so our host port is this now you will ask me like why only this port is uh, considered in this part for this particular container because in case of the task definition I had mentioned the host port as zero right so zero indicates that we have we are using the concept of dynamic port mapping okay so it dynamically allocates this particular host to your dynamically allocates port for your host okay so this is what is the thing now we'll try to access this particular port and see what is it showing to us okay so first of all i'll go to my security group and i'll be adding this particular port in the inbound rule right so I'll go and add right here. The port number is 49,158, right? And this is the CIDR block. That is, it will be the available for all of them, right? So now let's go to our EC2 instance and select this instance, copy this public IP and go to this particular port that is our host port right which got dynamically allocated now you can see that this is what it shows that is it works right which means that our task is successfully deployed on this particular instance of our ECS cluster so that's it for this lecture hope you found the video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the video helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day